full strength tomorrow? Uh, yes. Um, a chore had the had a family emergency, and um, he's still not back yet. He should be back in uh, hopefully the next couple hours and stuff. So I'm not sure whether he'll play tomorrow or not. But everybody's healthy. What'd you learn from that exhibition? Mm, man, we were tight. Um, staff, players, first time in front of fans, new group. Um, we had some guys, like, this is my fault, because uh, they didn't know where to park and or how to get there. Chore actually walked through the arena to go down, because that's how we normally go to practice. They didn't know they could walk around that, you know. So there's so many, like, little things. The, my first year, like, everything was new, so I knew I had to go through every detail of everything. Last year, you had seven guys returning, so they helped with some of that. And, but now you got to treat every year like everybody's brand new and go over every detail of everything. So it was, you know, what exhibition game is supposed to be for you, you know, to that you learn all the things that you need to take care of and correct, you know, and so it was good. I know we talked about the starting lineup for the game, but do you sort of envision running with the same lineup tomorrow, or at least the same starters tomorrow, or how much of, I guess, the rotation is a work in progress? Yeah, it's all, I mean, I think I have, and I think right now it's like nine have probably separated themselves, you know, a little separation between nine and 10, but 10 and 11 are right there, you know, kind of thing. So I don't want anybody to feel comfortable you know, right now with a new group and stuff, want everybody to, I mean, at any point in time, you know, if you're not being your very best at practice and, you know, working and improving that, you know, there's somebody there who um, ready to step in, so. What is the next step, I guess, from the exhibition game? What What's the next thing you want to see? Uh, you know, just, you know, playing a game, you know, we just, just, you know, getting back out there and getting a little bit better. And, um, you know, I, I always think, like, it takes a while for you to be able to play, you know, the game 30, 35 minutes the way you want to play. Part of that is conditioning. Part of it is focus, you know, just so, you know, um, just tomorrow we'll find out how many minutes we could play the way we wanted to play, you know, and then where will we have to work on from there. Coach, what does Max bring to you? The fans didn't get to see him the other night. He just seems like he's pretty good at about all of it. He is. He's, he can do a lot of things and, you know, a guard, big guard, you know, it just um, allows us to play Coleman at the four, you know, um, more. Um, so, yeah, my experience, he can make shots, you know, a tough kid, plays with a chip on his shoulder, you know, a lot of fun to play with. Do you have any message at all for, for David or Doug? I, mean, I just felt like they weren't really quite where you wanted them to be in that first game. And I know it's early. I get all of that. But, or do you just say, that was a start. Let's go from there. Yeah, I mean, you know, the we've been, we've been together since July and, uh, you know, working and improving and, and them showing what they can do and, you know, telling us what they can't do. And, and now us asking them to, you know, just put their very best forward. And, um, you know, now no one game is indicative of who a kid is. And so um, I, I didn't, I mean, went back and looked at it. And, you know, I think top to bottom, like we weren't, wasn't ourselves. And that, that included the staff and uh, working some things through and how we want to do some things. And so, uh, you know, it's just, it's, you know, I, I, I honestly don't want to be good until later. You know, I don't want to peak too soon. And so, you know, all these bumps, all these things that y'all see, you know, um, I mean, obviously fans, they, they want to see us be perfect. And, but, you know, and for me, it's just, let's just get a little bit better every day. Does this seem like year three? It just has been kind of blur, hasn't it, for you? <laughs> yeah, man, I'm thankful. I'm just thankful that, uh, you know, I get to keep doing this thing and um, it's a blessing and, you know, um, there's been a you know it's been a tough. Uh, I'll just say tough. there's been a um, a trying summer, and even to the start of the season, we've got guys on the team who've had family members that have been sick or passed away, and 
you know, we've lost close friends. My mom was in the hospital also. You know, there's been a lot of stuff going on. And, and so every day we're thankful for life, health, and strength and just blessed to be here and be together. Last year you guys opened a very challenging game in Vegas. This year at home against New Orleans. Do you have a preference on that approach when you start a season, or is it just kind of a you know, year-by-year year thing you judge, judge, judge how you want to go in that route? <laughs> That's a really good question, and um, uh, you know you kind of look at what what the the NCAA committee tells you, right? Like, you know, what do they value? You know, and um, you know, just then then we go to twenty games in league this year, you know, and you like so if you play more league games, then you gotta get rid of some of those high major games in the non-conference, because you don't wanna play 30 high major games, you know, so that, all of those things go into play year for year, you know, um, then next year, you know, things may change again, because if we go to less league games, and um, so, you know, it'll, it'll go from year to year. You wanna challenge yourself with your non-conference schedule, but you don't wanna kill yourself, so, yeah. Does stick out about New Orleans, man. You know, uh, Coach, Coach Hollowell. You know, I, I know he um, just took over, and but he was with um, uh, you know Coach before that, and uh, they they press you, um, they get after you. They, I think, against Southern Miss, it was like a hundred and three to hundred and two. You know, they got to the free throw line forty one times. Uh, they they're aggressive to the glass. They want to force turnovers and. And speed things up, so um, you know uh, they they do a good job in the half court guarding elbows and blocks, and uh, so forcing you to you know really have to work to get a shot, and, or you know, and, and so we can't like settle for early threes because they're going under ball screens and stuff. We got to keep working it, and so it, it'll be a challenge. You said the schedule or the league schedule kind of dictates your non-conference schedule. Is there an ideal number of league games in your mind? Or? Nah, you know, uh, I just, like, whatever they give us, we, we're going to deal with. And, uh, you know, just, you know, it's the best league in the country, and you just, you know, excited to lace them up every day. Coleman comes in with, he's good at so many different things. He feels polished in so many different ways. What's kind of the biggest improvement that you want to see him make? Um, I would like him to shoot more catch and shoot threes, because uh, I mean at practice I think he's over fifty percent, and um, yeah, I told him the other day you know somebody is fifty something percent from three and you know what I'm telling him you're not shooting enough you know and so yeah I'd like to see him shoot some more catch and shoot threes I I believe that uh, he can be a double double guy so I want to see him be a better rebounder. Um, on the defensive glass, when he gets a rebound, he can start a break, and it's really hard to guard that in transition when you have a forward his size bringing the ball up the court. And on the offensive end, I think he can give us more possessions uh, by going. And so um, those those are a couple areas. How is Max and Maurice, I guess, shifting from really high usage rate at the, the mid-major level to now sort of being a complementary piece to the offense? Yeah, I, I don't. You hadn't seen him play yet, so you don't know if he's a high usage guy or a complimentary piece. So uh, Max is Max, and he's he's a really good basketball player. You mentioned that you sort of felt like the guys were tight last game. Uh, how do you sort of make sure that's not the case? Well, it starts with me. <clears throat> it starts with me. I got a you know a dream. Actually, called me after the game, and he said, Coach, you didn't smile one time during the game. And I watched the video, and he was right, you know. And so um, it starts with me. Uh, we say we work really, really hard those 180 days so that we can have fun. We can play with love, joy, and freedom. And you know, obviously the guys had freedom. You know, Brennan got up 15 threes, and we was, you know, but, but the, the, the joy wasn't there, and that was my fault. And so, yeah, I got to make sure that they, they understand that we're going to go out there and have a good time. And um, we've worked really hard, so let's enjoy the, these games and and that that's top to bottom, but it starts with me. With the net values, these kind of games, is there pressure to win by margin right off the bat? I, there is. Um, I wouldn't call it pressured, but there's a more. Um, it's definitely on our mind. You know, like you, you think it was. You know, you didn't think about it last year, and uh, it hurt us. You know, the wins, wins hurt you if 
you don't do what you know the numbers say you're supposed to do and uh, so um, we actually even talked to the team about it so half your shots were from three in the exhibition game is there a percentage you're looking for I, I wouldn't want 50% of our shots to be from three you know um, you know probably more in the 40 42 you know range and uh, so um, and, and I thought we rushed a couple you know and didn't fight for our feet and, and, and some instances and you know but um, I, I do want us to be aggressive in that area for a young player like David Castillo what do you want to see from him in these early non-conference games uh, I want him to relax I want to let the game come to him and not turn the ball over are you starting to see that from Buddy a little bit now that he's in his second year and is kind of relaxing a little bit? Uh, yeah, but he's more focused at practice, right? Like he's more more focused. His his conditioning is improved, and um, he's paying attention to details. Anything else for coach? I would ask one more. I know it's way, 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 way early, but how excited are you about the potential of what this team can be defensively? There were times with, with Fort Hayes that it just seemed so hard. For, and I, I get all the you know difference in the levels, but you played at times pretty darn good defense, didn't you? Yeah, you know, I mean, we're getting better. And uh, the belief system, uh, you got a bunch of guys, they've played a lot of basketball for some really good coaches. and. Um, and now you're just trying to get them to, there's some things that, some habits that have to change, you know, to make the defense work the way we want it to work. And those habits change quicker as the belief in it grows. And so, um, but yeah, no, I, I, I think we can be a really good uh, defensive team. Last year, I think we were, at one point in time, we were the number one uh, first shot defense in the country. The problem is that we couldn't rebound the basketball. And with the size that we have, I hope, you know, that should make us a better rebounding team. And we're going to do a better job of coaching it as a staff. How much does that length and that size on defense help when you guys can switch? <coughs> and so you can also switch one through four in that time point. Yeah, we, you know, I mean, that's something that we've done for the last two years is switch one through four and at times one through five is just when you're switching, you know, six, nine on six, nine, that, that helps a whole lot more. And at the end of the game, you know, I say this all the time, when everybody's tired, six, nine and seven feet are still six, nine and seven feet, you know. Um, and if you're six, five, you got to try not jump a guy. If you're tired at the end of the game, that, that doesn't work out too well. So having the size really helps. Thank you guys. Go Cats.